So now on to the biggest part of the podcast. It is our debate where we're doing our all-time strikers, the best, the greatest. This is going to be an interesting debate. Top 10. We've got all of ours here. And Sai, who is not with us, that sounds like he's passed away. He is alive. He is still with us. <laughs> Thank God. Has just sent us... Um, his in, so I'll, I'll be saying size. I might do an impression of him, actually. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Yeah. So, yeah. so who wants to go first? Straight away in for number 10. Who wants to go in? Entry. D- what, don't look at me like that. So do you, do you, should, should we go in with size? Let's go with size. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all sit on the fence for a little bit. So, size has really shocked me. This is an extremely mental one to start off with, and oh. I cannot believe... So this is Sai, by Give the way. Voice, please. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I can't tell. <laughs> Number 10, Sai has gone for R9. At 10? Oh, Number dear. 10. And Sai's written, similar to Shearer, arguably best years in the 90s. Bloody hell, he's... he's it's mental. As I said to Sam uh, We had a discussion today, about this at work. Yes, he was good in the 90s, but he's also took Brazil to the World well, Cup in 2002. Would it, would it fall them, yeah? Yeah, no. When when you spoke about, we spoke a little bit off camera about it, and I, I can't believe size has gone in at number ten. And then Galacticos number nine in yeah. Madrid, like he wasn't at his peak, but he was still one of lethal. the best strikers. He's still yeah. played for another six years. He danced around defenders and keepers for foot. It was just that's a shock. That was overweight Sorry. Ronaldo, yeah. tearing it up in the Champions League. And... I just can't. But yeah, that's why I thought Sai would be a perfect entry. Well, I'd love to see his yeah. two thousand onwards stats. Because I bet they're up there. They're probably still again. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, ridiculous. Okay, then yeah. that's so a get perfect out of it, <laughs> What do you want about? <laughs> it? <laughs> it's brilliant because he can't defend himself. So yeah. just say, ridiculous. <laughs> but who wants to go in there? Because that's a perfect, nice little in- entry into it, isn't it? Let's be honest. Who wants to go there? I'll go for mine then. Number 10, Pippo Inzaghi. Ooh. Go I'm on. glad he's made a top 10. Yeah. I thought I'd sneak him in. Proper centre forward. Yeah. He's, he was just... Out and out bagsman, yeah. poacher, six yard box. Yeah, nothing doesn't further. do anything else but scores big goals, yeah. vital goals, gets them often. Important, great celebrations as well. Yeah, <laughs> played for some big teams, big goal scoring seasons, won a lot of trophies. Yeah, it's interesting with this kind of what it, I think it shows a lot as well what you like about a striker. Because like I was looking through a lot of the strikers we could have had. But it depends what you like from a striker. Like that's yeah. a proper number nine, isn't yeah. it? Really, when you look at that. We were saying and that this morning. How do you define a, a striker? Oh, it's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? The really, chat was popping off this morning. <laughs> it was all arguing about. Oh yeah, by the way, as well, just to mention, there is no Messi or Ronaldo in this debate. We've said because it just opened up. Then what is a striker? So we just said no CR seven and no Messi because they'd be one and two anyway. Because yeah, let's be real. But then yeah. there's arguments. Are oh, they strikers? So we just left them out. Because I thought I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Because the comments probably all be full of that. <laughs> where Ronaldo? Where, where, where's Messi? <laughs> Joe, who are you going to go in number uh, ten? Number ten was Michael Owen oh, for me. Ooh. Yeah, I think he was at, at Liverpool. He was almost untouchable as a centre forward early early noughties. Um Got a great record for England. I went to Madrid at its prime. Um, biggest team on the planet signing you. I think you yeah. Owen was it an honourable mention for me? Was he? Got close. He got oh, close. Well, Pippo and Dag was not a mention for me. Some of you might call the same thing. Ballon d'Or, not let people forget. Yeah, oh, exactly. he, doesn't, he doesn't try and let people forget. He goes exactly. on about it all the time. And he's won the, he basically won the UEFA Cup for them and the FA Cup final on his, on his own for them that one time. And, yeah. Um, he was electric, wasn't he? He was. was. He was so quick over five, ten yards. And then his finishing ability was just deadly. Yeah, exactly. Just ruined by there's injury, goals in it? There's goals in Munich against Germany. Obviously, England, Germany tomorrow night. You've got to be talking about that 5-1 in, in Munich. Um, Owen's goals there fantastic yeah he's just a player that's kind of Top ruined striker. and, har- and um, harnished is that the right word harnished tarnished tarnished <laughs> <laughs> jeez I'm really losing it tarnished by injury really isn't it like it's, it's kind of one of those players that what could have been yeah. all the time because you think about what he achieved anyway yeah. the four injuries is ridiculous and when he came back to Newcastle I mean it, yes he, he just left Madrid um, so he probably he's probably thinking, oh, I'm I'm on the the downward spiral now. But he didn't he did nothing, and there's that big story about him falling out with Shearer when they went down, and um, yeah. it kind of all went south. And, and then he's again, I'd, I'd say he's probably tarnished by his um, analysis <laughs> now yeah. as a as a pundit. I mean, people don't yeah. realise how good a footballer he was because he talks such rubbish. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget his time at Stoke, big big career at Stoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We chatted about that earlier. Like. <laughs> then he went to United and scored yeah. important goals. Yeah. Was it a goal against City, City. in the cup? Mm. That was I remember. Last minute, yeah. When he turned into a striker, that just operated in the box, didn't he? Like he, he couldn't really do For anything about else. Ten minutes ago, yeah. yeah. When he came on, <laughs> and he he he, just, he was he looked a bit 
chunkier, didn't he? When yeah. he's when he, later on his career, he could put it out about a bit. Yeah. Okay, then I'll go straight in with my number ten. So this is now again personal preference because I can tell people might jump on my tenth best striker of all time. Be Lewandowski. He only just made the list for me, and I think there's a reason why, and it's the main reason why, and it's because of where he's played. The question marks for me are the Bundesliga, and I think Timo Werner is a prime example of that. Yeah, I think we all could we score f- in the Bundesliga. The bund- what do we call Bundesliga it? tax? The Dortmund tax. The book. Dortmund tax. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He scored. He scored a load of goals there, and he's do- but he's just never done it on any of the like he's done it in the Champions League with Bayern and Brush Dortmund, but massive giants. But he's never been tested elsewhere, and obviously no, this the- summer he will be going elsewhere, and he, he quite easily could climb up this. But do you think he's, he's too old to go and do it in some other Premier League now, the way that he plays as a centre forward? He's not too old. He'll still go and get a bunch of goals. Yeah. But, but is, he, he, is he going to drag, I don't know, someone to a title, say if he went to a well, Chelsea? Say, yeah, exactly. Or, but, no, I don't think no, so. No, I don't either. I agree with you. Um, like he scored some important goals. He scored bags for, like, he obviously broke the record in the Bundesliga. He's probably robbed of uh, the Ballon d'Or a couple of years back in yeah. COVID. Like, he's a great striker, but just someone I can't get excited about yeah. purely just because of the I, Bundesliga. It's Peter, uh, you can't get excited about a goal scorer who's back, got, back yeah, for fun. He's got like 43 goals in one season. The goals are you. ridiculous, like, the number of them. It's like 400 odd in the Bundesliga. Bundesliga's all time record score. It's I a lot, yeah. now. But the, the Bundesliga in recent years. The standard, I think, is so poor. I think I don't even know if it's better than the French league now. I'd say they're on par. To be yeah, honest, it's, it's, it's cack. I'd, <laughs> I'd argue the so. Portuguese league's probably on top. I, I really don't yeah. think the standard is good in the Bundesliga, other than the top two or three. Well, you look at Borussia Dortmund. They, how awful they were yeah, in exactly. Europe this season. Yeah. Beaten by Rangers. Rangers can't even win the Scottish league. Yeah. Look, it's question marks, but I think just sheer the sheer amount of goals um, and what he has done. He had to make my list. I thought he'd be. Uh, he's one of those players that didn't want to leave. I agree out. with you, so I'm just going to say he's my nine. Oh, well, he's not in, not in my top ten. He's not. In your, yeah. Okay. That's. No. Just, are you just backing up the points I've made? There? Just kind but, of, sheer okay. amount of goals. Yes, yeah. I think. And he is again. It's somebody that you look at like a, a proper number nine. Like he just finishes all types of goals he yeah. scores, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Like, Lethal. The, the amount of hat tricks he's got as well is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, then I'll get size number nine up. Now you've just mentioned yours. So size number nine. Is Harry Kane, which surprised me. Hasn't made my person my top ten. Not made your ten. No, he's not made my ten. Well, he's in, in mine. And uh, is he? Yeah, he is. Oh, we, we'll we'll leave your description of why you made your top ten. Okay. For, we'll, and then we'll we'll say size. Just quick little sentence. Unbelievable goal scorer and playmaker. Just needs trophies to be higher on this list. Yeah. So. That's cheers for that, Cy. Uh, that sounds really nasty. I didn't mean that sarcastic. But, yeah, it's it's an odd one. Uh, who's who's your number nine then? Uh, my number nine is David Villa. Oh, players feature a lot higher for me. Oh, I really absolutely love that man. I mean, he's, he's, he was great, wasn't he? His peak and that that Barca team, that Spain team. He's Spain's record goal scorer, over hundred goals for uh, for Barcelona. Um, he's great. He was like proper fox in the box, lethal over the top. Finished everything that he had at his feet, then he was great. Yeah, and he did play on the wing at times, but even then he could, he was just still a goal scorer. You could still yeah. see the threat he had from the left. Yeah, and, I still think of him as a striker. Oh yeah, and was it the World Cup of the Euros? I can't remember which one that he single handedly like carried yeah, them. At he was he was, was around that, yeah. Spain had all that golden generation of amazing midfielders. They had the defenders in like PK and Puyol and all of those. I think he was the one piece that tipped them over the edge. Having that goal scorer because they didn't before, did they? No. They never really. Torres didn't do it. Having him when he was at his prime at Barca in that Spain squad probably took them that extra level to win the Euros, to win the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely love him. He's just so silky on the ball, wasn't he? Like he just could yeah. do everything. Smooth there was nothing. Yeah. There was nothing he couldn't like. He couldn't do. Yeah, exactly. Just every type of goal he'd score them, and then even his hold up play. Like considering he wasn't the biggest of lads, he could. He, he used to be able to shift his weight quite nicely. Yeah. Similar to like the thing we mentioned about Saka last week, a player that can. Because of his lower centre of gravity, he can kind of use his weight and barge into it's, people. It's frightening, yeah. How quickly you can be, how quick you can be over five, ten yards. That's what, that's what the good, the good players are like, aren't they? But I'm glad David Villa's made people's list because that was one I didn't, I wasn't sure it would make people's oh, top tens. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm glad. That's that's you've made my day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you want to go in your number nine? Have you? I've done you've done yours. Nine. Oh yeah, because yours was um, Lewandowski. Lewandowski. So my number nine was Shevchenko. So. I think he was a lot of his time was tarnished because of the Chelsea stint that didn't really go to plan. Let's be honest, but that was towards the end of his career. Mm. But what he did before Ballon d'Or winner again, what he was, what he's done all around Europe, like 
serious player really yeah. I think and his numbers speak for themselves uh, yeah, yeah. In, that, in that Milan side I mean it was, it was getting fed left right and centre by Kaka Seidorf oh, yeah. you had the supply didn't you but you still got to finish still, him exactly got to put it in the back of the net absolutely like, yeah. got to put it in the onion bag a serious player real serious player but I, again that was one I'm not sure whether honourable mention for me yeah me too him there was a few Chelsea signings that because of the Chelsea stint were honourable mentions him per uh, not Crespo and Torres. Yeah. All honourable mentions. I don't know why. For a second then, when you were saying like, time at Chelsea, I thought you were going to say Pato or like Higuain <laughs> then. Or Falcao. I was thinking, I've had some awful strikers. Sorry, when you look back. So they've like, ruined a lot yeah, of good strikers. ruined a lot ruined. of good strikers. Jeez, yeah, I've never thought about that. That yeah. could be a discussion podcast another episode. <laughs> but um, okay then. So should we go number eight? Or has everyone done there? I haven't missed anyone then. No. Because I'm awful yeah. at this. I usually hop just... Tell me if I've missed somebody. No, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, so, size number eight, he's gone for Wayne Rooney. Oh, I think that's low. And he's written, England and Man United, all-time leading scorer, had his problems, could even argue, the most complete all-round footballer on this list. Well, yeah, maybe. That's probably not a bad show. He hasn't, made, anyway. he hasn't made my top ten. That's not, oh dear. Wayne Rooney's not made your top 10? He's not in the top 10 strikers for me of all time. Oh even, he's not God. even honourable mention. Like, he's not for me. That's terrible. He's not even an honourable mention. Not for me. <laughs> that is slander. You're just talking rubbish. Rooney I'm not. <laughs> that's just silly. I, I don't. I, I know we discussed earlier. I know you said he was a number nine, but I still see him as that second striker. No. I still see him for that. And He was always in the two. He was brilliant. No, I know. But, that, but a proper two. Not I like get it. what you're saying, like a two up top, but I just, for some reason, I just. I still, don't think, I still don't yeah. think Rooney ever hit that level where I th- felt like he could have gone. I still wanted more from him. And I know when you look, he did. his <laughs> record is... No one knows. Two seasons he did play number nine. He scored like 25 no one Premier League goals. No, yeah. no, no one knows. But I just want more from him. I what do you want? Less, I was just, <laughs> what do you want? He's won them Premier more. League titles. <laughs> Champions, Champions League. League. I'm just... Uh, if he stayed fit for England, we'd have won Euro 2004. I just don't think he was good enough to be in this top 10 list. I think oh, it's dear. disrespectful oh, I can't quite believe to put that. Wayne Rooney at, with, along with some of the other players that we've got in this list. I hope you get pelters in the comments for that. You should get pelted. But like when you, you just think about it. You look at some of the other players we've just mentioned. For, like in the top and 10. And some of them aren't fit enough to lace Lewandowski and Shevchenko are both clear straight away. No, I think not. Wayne Rooney's twice a footballer Shevchenko was. Absolutely, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I just think it would just I don't know I don't know if it's like the English bias and tax I just don't get it with Wayne Rooney oh I can't believe I, that I think he's clinically overrated playing in the hardest league in the world I think he'll be underrated for Man United he's, but then he's, he's always thrown about as look, being at, like look one at of the, the teams best. He, yes he had Ronaldo but the rest of the time he was playing with like Anderson <laughs> but, and like but they were, he was playing for the Mikaida greatest Premier, and, at that time they were the, the, the main yeah they were the main boys so of course he was going to bag goals all the time <laughs> I just to bag to be the main goal scorer in a multi, multiple Premier League winning yeah, FA Cup Champions your point. League. I, it's just for me personally. I just don't see him as a as a, an all time great. And you know his all time record England's, goal scorer, England but, record yeah, goal scorer. You've seen him out of appearances he's made for both of them. Like he's gonna eventually. <laughs> <get them. laughs> Joke. Yeah, Yo, you're, you're clutching at straws I've, now. I just. I, I don't know how to argue my point other than I just don't see it. I just oh, don't get it. For me personally, he doesn't make my top ten, and he's not an honourable mention for me. That's shocking. It's I find it. I think it's disrespectful to even mention his name with the calibre of players we've got on here. But, Good lord. Um, okay, <laughs> he wants to take the floor next. After that, what are we on? Eight. 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 And you, you haven't had Wayne Rooney. Really. Um. <laughs> uh, eight. I've gone for Harry Kane. Um, I'd, I completely agree with so I think if he's at a better club like having but big sa- big saying big games and um, title winning games that sort of thing I think he's well up there but big games for him with the Audi Cup well, exactly that's why I think he's probably down there but otherwise he's one of the most complete centre forwards I think I've seen so I look at Harry Kane again and this is I, I feel it, when we're discussing the all time greatest strikers I think it's disrispectful to put Kane in the calibre of these players I think his goals per game are just ridiculous but <laughs> Uh, goals per game, but like, what is he actually on achieved? With, yeah, on with like, we're looking at Ballon d'Or winners. Amazing, mm. and as a footballer, amazing. Yeah, like world class, one of the best. But for me to be considered as one of the best ever, you've got to do something with your career. I think there's an argument for that, definitely. He's You've got, got a couple to... of golden boots, whereas you look at these players, got Ballon d'Or winners here, multi got to do uh, Champions something. League winner. Yeah, I know what that just completely destroys my argument for Rooney. <laughs> I just look at Harry Kane and just think. 
like how on earth he's cutting about in these lists. Like, I, I just for me, I don't get it. With Ka- I yeah, love him as a footballer, in... but I don't see him as a great. Yeah, how can you be classed as one of the greatest of your sports if you don't really reach the pinnacle? Like, yeah. He's not even. He's not even won a Carabao Cup. It's hard. Is it hard to argue against that? And you, you, can't, you kind of like tie yourself in knots. But I think his pinnacle is just scoring goals at the minute, which he does very, very well. Um, but I think if, if he did get that big move, he'd instantly make. Like if he went to City last season, he made him instantly a success. But I don't think he'll ever go. I, I, I still no, can't. can't see I think he missed the boat now. Yeah, um, and it'll be whether Conte can now do something at Spurs, which yeah. will well, raise to be seen. But I had, and this is again, <laughs> I don't mean to just keep throwing like my controversial takes <laughs> straight away. <laughs> But before, I'd have, um, as in the all-time strikers list, I'd have Vardy above Kane in my all-time. Would you? Yeah, because at least Vardy's achieved. Vardy has been consistent now for so many seasons and he's actually achieved things. And well, yeah. and the argument I'd have for that is I don't like the take completely, no. but Vardy was probably the first or second best player in a team. He's dragged them there to do something... Kane's yes, he's got all these goals, but he is the best player. Yeah, and he's played in a better team the whole time, and he hasn't dragged them to anything. He hasn't no. won them anything. No, you are right. Vardy, Community Shield, League Cup, Premier League. It was F- FA. Cup. It was FA, FA Cup. Cup sorry, yeah. FA Cup. He's yeah. won all of that, and Kane's got nothing. So oh, I completely get that. I've, I've, I've got him there as goal scoring caliber. I get, I get it. I completely. But can I, see. I, I, I do completely see what you're saying. That's. It was I'd, say, I'd say. I think he's on put. par with a Lewandowski type. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably agree with Ability that. Ability-wise. Yeah. But Lewandowski's won... Won a lot. <laughs> nine Bundesliga. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. Can you imagine how many golden boots he's got? I don't know where he'd keep them. Like, it's probably yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, the, then. That was my one I, I, I flinch putting in the top ten, but I, I think that had to happen there. Uh, eight. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's a... That's a um, how dare you put him so low? Low. Yeah, don't even get me started on that. It's not even in my top ten. I think it's scandalous. I think him in. I think eight just about his range. That should be the the highest he goes in anyone's list. Great player, great goal scoring record, won multiple things, but has never really been the standout player on any team he's been at. No, no absolutely. You, you ne- never thought he was never, lethal. No, he's never been the main man. He's never been the people, the person, the teammate people go to. In, mm. Yeah, but like Giroud will have a great highlight, highlights reel on YouTube, the goals I think, I he think scored. Is he, Giroud to Ebra? I did. No, but Ebra. I think he deserves a bit more credit for the clubs he's been at. Giroud. <laughs> In terms of like the goals he's scored, he, he's not lethal. He's not a proper goal scorer, I don't think, Ibra. Uh, he's, he's, he's gone to PSG and he's had the time of his life because he's playing in the Farmers League um, with Lavezzi and other, uh, whoever we're playing at the time, Pistoro feeding him. But I'm, I'm not having him as one of the, the greatest strikers that's ever played. Do you know what? I'll, since I'll anyway. put my argument back when we get to him. When, when I he's... just think the number of goals and the longevity and he has won things. I think he's hmm. he's in with a shout. <sighs> wow. I really didn't expect this one to be my... Uh, that Ebra. Oh, that's really hurt that. <laughs> I felt that. I don't know why I've taken that personally. <clears throat> okay then, so my number eight was Benzema. He's gone in at number eight. I think, again, he was one that I, I don't know if it's recency that I've put him in, potentially, that he's even made this top ten. But there's a lot of goals again. He's a lot of goals. I think he deserves to be in there. Yeah, he's he's made my number eight. Obviously, it kind of his stat speaks for himself. And he's worked with the greats, hasn't he, really? He's been the only thing that's been consistent with Real Madrid in all yeah. these years. He's won everything there is to win, really. And he's been selfless for them, really. Yeah, like, yeah. Look at the times there was Bale there as a superstar, Ronaldo there as a superstar. Um, he's done the dirty work for them, he's gone about his business very quietly. And we're now starting to see the level that he could have done if he was just given the stage yeah. for himself. That goal for France, was it last night or the night before? He just danced around three of them and put, put it to bottom bins. He's, he's, he's great at the minute. He's in the form of his life, isn't he? Yeah. 34, however old he is, 36. Yeah. God knows how old he is. He's a, he's a good player. So he's gone in a number eight. I don't, well, I'm presuming you guys got him higher, so we'll leave the. He's the not in my top 10. <laughs> he's not made your top 10. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Oh, is that by that look? I couldn't decide if you were going to say, I've got him in at number no. two or something. Oh, I think oh, I've got Ben's mind. Okay, then we can do like a full. This is the thing, because we all have players in different places. Don't yeah. we like, discuss too much about each player? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. So. Uh, on to, has everyone done their number eight then yet? Yeah. yeah. So number seven, Sai has gone for Shevchenko. Okay. Number seven, quite high. He's put Ballon d'Or winner. So many goals came from half chances. So many goals. He's <laughs> got so many goals. 
goals. <laughs> Slightly less than a goal every two games. Really? But Chelsea wow. flop, unfortunately, would be higher. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that's pretty much what we what we said earlier. Mm-hmm. So I think I think I think seven's high. Like when you yeah, I think it's a above our nine is mental. <laughs> it is. It's outrageous. That is that is. shocking. Well, to be honest, anyone if he's put our nine ten. So he's the put, other. Sorry, Harry Kane. Oh. He's put Harry Kane above our nine. Let, yeah, let's talk about that, shall we? Bloody hell! <laughs> sorry, what is going on? We're talking to some. I hope you're sat at work now at your desk crying because that is an awful take, and I'm the I'm the king of awful takes. I know that's my job on this podcast. Uh, yeah, outrageous. Okay, then number seven. I will just go straight in with David Villa for me. So we've already discussed what he was good at. David Villa. I think he was unlucky to miss out on the top five for me. I kept I had him at one point really high, and then slowly started remembering more players, and he just kind of fell on the list. And I think we've discussed how great a player he was. So yeah. Number seven for me yeah. is where. He made what? Who? Where is everyone else? Number seven. Um, my six and seven are really on par, but seven I'll go Rooney. I can't get over the fact that Rooney's making people's top ten all time strikers. Absolutely, it's embarrassing. It's you to mind, mate. It's embarrassing that you. It's not in top ten. It's embarrassing that you think that. Top ten. Absolutely. We're discussing the Without world question. great, it and we've one, got Rooney. In one there. of the first times I wrote down. One of the first. He was straight in there. I thought about him and then started laughing. I hope I we think. get backed up in the comments here, you know. <laughs> we really probably do. will do, because anything really I say do. is God just... bless Wayne Rooney. <laughs> We've got to have belief that the listeners actually know Ball, unlike Absolutely. Sam. Yeah, it's funny, because all the comments are just saying, but Sam doesn't talk Ball. It's just all the... Oh, but so you've had Ebro for Rooney? Too right. Oh, I think that's outrageous. Ebro's twice the player Rooney ever no. was. Oh my no, God. <laughs> think of the peak... <laughs> Think of Rooney's peak against Zebras. What, what was Zebras' peak? Well, let I've, me get on to that. Be, I've only just I, put him I'm, there because of longevity, basically. What was Zebras' peak? Scoring three against Marseille, maybe, or RC so, Longs. No, we'll Getting on. booted out of Barcelona <laughs> by yeah. Pep. Failing at Juventus. What, who has everyone else got? Because we'll, we'll move on to Ebra when we get to him because he's Rooney, still got a long okay. number seven. Just, yeah. But he's on par with my six. Is it John Carew or somebody like that? <laughs> it was yours, your, your It'd be better than Ibra. <laughs> uh, num- number seven, Didier Drogba. For me. That's a big one. I absolutely adore Drogba. Um, I don't know whether he deserves to be there on goal scored, um, but what they meant, the, the big goals, big games, he carried Chelsea to titles, um, and he was just unplayable sometimes. Proper, proper number nine. Big and horrible, back to goal and create stuff out of nothing. Loved him, absolutely loved him. So he just about missed that. He he would have got number 10 for me and then I remembered another player and pushed him out, but I completely agree with you. And I think the people who don't say that Drogba is one of the greats are the kind of people that just look up the stats and say, oh, he's only averaging like 15. Yeah, exactly. Goals. But it's not all about numbers, is it? If you had to pick one player to play in any final tomorrow, I'd pick Drogba every absolutely. time. Because the clutch moments that he has, he's a, a proper big time player. Yeah, and you look he, at his Chelsea career, he, he did everything. He played with, with Crespo as a two when he first got there. He played with Anelka as a two and was successful and got to Champions League finals with him. Won FA Cups and League Cups and whatever. Played on his own, won Champions League and obviously worshipped by the Ivory Coast and um, got them to a World Cup. And yeah, brilliant. Yeah, he was unlucky to miss out. I, can, I think that's a good shout. Quite high, but that's a good shout. Thank okay. you. I think I think he's but yeah, like when you think about his moments as well, I think of that Bayern Munich final every that, time. Yeah, and all the goals at Wembley score, all the goals against Arsenal. This <laughs> is why I have that yeah. <laughs> I know he loved the Arsenal, didn't he? Um but those free kicks against Spurs at, at Wembley and just big moments, big goals and big game player. Are you going to just keep quiet about Drogba? I've noticed you've not said a single word. Yeah, he's nice. You just don't like Chelsea? <laughs> yeah, he's good. I've noticed Chelsea, the Chelsea slanders just... I was waiting for a yeah, little comment. A player, mate. Was he made your top ten? Nah. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> was he an honourable mention? Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're so <laughs> funny when it comes to Chelsea. <laughs> um, have, have, yeah, you've done yours. I've had them. Oh, I don't think I've done mine, actually. No, I did. Benzema, uh, D- David Villa for number seven, wasn't it? You did, we kind yeah. of skipped over him then. So number six, do you, want, you said it was on My par. My six was on par with seven. It's David Villa. What was size? Size was Ibrahimovic. Okay. He said, "Prolific winner and scorer, full stop. Leader, full stop. Oh, one word. I don't know about that description. <laughs> I like that. It's like he's trying to sell him. That's like a slow. He missed off Pratt as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Obviously, he's been a lot of big clubs and he's won a lot of things. But if you actually look up his trophies, 
it's not as good as you'd think it was. There's a lot of French league titles. Yeah, there's lots a, of PSG. There's a couple of Serie A's. One La Liga when he wasn't really that involved. He was half involved. Yeah. No Champions Leagues and a lot of cups. We'll, we'll get to Ebra in a minute because oh, he's, he's still got, high he's up. Got, he's got his. Um... He's still high up. No, 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 it's not. I haven't got any stats or anything. Oh, it's just, I'm, like no, I'm saying I've got. I'm not loaded with stats, but I've got a couple of things that I'd like to just okay. mention. My my reasoning you can on how I. Them. Yeah, this is the one that's really bothered me. I can see you're really <laughs> under my skin. Here too. Um, I've gone in number six, in my opinion, the greatest African footballer of all time. Number six, uh, Samuel Eto'o. That's high. I, I t- again, he he was originally my top three, and I was moved he? him down because I think Samuel Eto'o as a player just. I I feel disrespectful putting him in at number six, but I just think that the next five are just unreal. I'd love to know his stats off the top of my head, but. He didn't even come to me. One of the great strikers in that team really? or in that era. Have you now? still got him? He's in my list. Is That's he? good. I'm glad that's not just me then, because I think I think Samueletto was absolutely unbelievable. He was he was good what in a, a very player. good Barca side, but I don't and know. The Inter. He, oh yeah, Inter too. But I don't know. He would, just didn't come come to mind when I was thinking. Not about strikers. I think you know? at the time when he was at his peak, he was the best in the world without question. Yep, Man. that's such a bold statement. Yeah. No one argued. I love that. But, and he was, I accept that he was very, very good at, at that point. Obviously, having Ronaldinho in the same team as well, and he's, he, to come from Real Mallorca and um, and get there, I think brilliant. Yeah, serious talent. That's why I had to get him in there, but he just just missed out. I think the next five. I think surely all of our top five would look very close. You'd I hope think. so. I'd hope so. That hope everyone's. So. Got... I don't think they're going to be. <laughs> well, no, no, as in, no, as in your players are very close. Oh, yeah, That's what yeah. I meant, sorry. Not ours are going to be close because no. you two just don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I thought Eto was unlucky to miss out on my top five because he, he was the first name on my top ten. Well, The first name I thought of when I thought about this, which I don't know if that's weird, but I don't mind just it. instantly straight. I don't know why, just iconic player. Just one of, just I loved him when I was younger. <laughs> um, who wants to go next then? It's Joe, I think. Uh, be... Number six. Was Sergio Aguero for me? Injury has got him down there for outside top five for me. But goals, but, goals to minutes. Yeah, goals per game are ridiculous. The highest in the Premier League. Out um, of anyone who scored. And ever. he was he was terrifyingly good at finishing. <laughs> um, when they beat us what five or six one a couple of years ago, and we had Danny Drinkwater playing, he was just <laughs> it was great to watch. <laughs> I stayed just to watch him in that City team, and it was just frightening how, how good he was. You talk about taking half chances. He'd create yeah, chances. Not even half of, chances. Yeah, yeah. God, he'd just score from nothing. The amount of times you've seen he hit the roof of the net from six yards out. Yeah, like the finishes, he just you, you wouldn't expect him to ever get a shot off and all of a sudden it's it flew past yeah. the keeper it's in. Not when you looked at him though, he didn't look like Well like a striker, a David like, like, yeah. He's short, short and sharp across yeah. five yards. And obviously when he, I remember when he first came to the Premier League and I thought, Who on earth is this? I didn't really know much about him before for his time yeah. at Atletico. I didn't yeah. really know much about him and he hit the ground running, didn't he? Yeah, he came he's, in and he's, he never really stopped, yeah. did he? Like he just went, he just carried on. Yeah. And towards, and I feel like he's, really his time's cut short by Pep. I still think he had a bit in him. He could still have got a job. I still think he could have done a job. Yeah, done a job. A squad player. Yeah, and that, that well, that's when they stopped playing with the striker, wasn't it? So yeah, he couldn't really do much about it. But yeah, he's he's higher on my list. It's, it's a shame he's had to retire early from Barcelona as well with that heart condition that he had. Yeah. Um, cause it'd be nice to see him scoring goals in La Liga, but. Um, yeah, I think this injury keeps him out of my top five for me. Yeah, he's like a Twitch streamer now, isn't he? Is he? I always see, yeah, he just like streams watching the Man City games and stuff. <laughs> you, I saw you watch the game with Balotelli, and them two were just like talking about the game, watching Man City play. I was like, what a weird like collaboration that I was all for. Really? It was in a different language, so I just sat for about two minutes That's and thought, well, this is a waste, <laughs> waste of time. time. <laughs> yeah, good, good use of my time, that was. Um, so, is that top five now then? Yeah. Dun, dun. Yes. Can I just say quickly... Because Joe said Aguero, I forgot to put him in. You just completely forgot his name? No, I, for, I forgot about him. So he's not in my list, but he should be. Okay, good save. I'd probably say he's about eighth, though. Not, so you not really know. Quite clearly, he doesn't know ball, does he, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the problem. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. We know ball post 2010, <laughs> so I'm all pre 2010. <laughs> I have some players in there. That's quite right. early for me. Thank you. <laughs> but no, now the top five, the serious stuff. Yeah, let's get down to business. I really just want, I, I feel like I might as well just real size top five off, just to get it. And then, because we can discuss ours, because I think. Okay, yeah. Because size gone, because this is, sorry, I'm sorry, but this is absolutely horrific. As bad as 
Ronaldo at number 10. Number 5, Thierry Henry. Oh my five. god. Can I read you oh what he's written? Oh my god. Number 5 all-time strikers, size written this. Some French handball fraud who was pretty good at Arsenal and Barca. <laughs> number 5. I'm glad he's not here to say that with his chest. Number I think four. Stunned silence. Number 4, Benzema. So he's put Benzema That's over high. Thierry Henry. How can we dis- how can we even get we need to get get, so, get us over and done we with need to get him off. Off. then number three Lewandowski oh my Lewandowski god Lewandowski over Thierry Henry then Aguero then Suarez Aguero too so Suarez size list is possibly the worst collection of yep. like Su- Suarez the best centre yep. forward or striker oh post 2000 yep. god goodness me so I, I don't know what to no say no words that. get out Si that's horrific Lewandowski and Benzema over Thierry Henry and R9. Disbelief. So Suarez is a great striker, don't get me wrong, but number one, I think. Disbelief. Okay, then, should we just go in with our top yeah, five? Yeah, no, I had to move, get those on. Should we pretend that ever happened? Yeah. I'll just cut that from the pod. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. Get sorry, sorry, we love you, really. Yeah, we need you, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to go in straight away with the number five? I'll go five, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> I can't get over this. And he was unlucky to be at five. I don't mind. I don't, mind, up, I don't mind Rooney being there at all. Yeah. Top five all-time strikers. Oh, Sam, the goals on he scored. the planet. The goals. I know he so scored great goals. goals. <laughs> My four to seven range. I think pick him in any order, really. It, yeah. I can't get over it. I'm like completely just lost for words with this. Um, my five's Aguero, by the way. We've already discussed how great he was, so he's gone in at number five. Mine me. is Benzema. Happy with that. Again, I think it's a solid, a solid choice. I, I was looking into people, obviously, for doing this earlier. Won four league titles with Leon. Did he? Jeez, four to league fair, titles. <laughs> when I went to Leon, every fan had got um, Benzema shirt. That's really? Really? Years That's after, because he was so good. That I remember like how good he was, and people were like looking at all the clubs in the world were looking at him but I didn't realise four league titles that's, being, yeah I didn't either that's mad. That's and they've been terrible like, since haven't they yeah, yeah. That, when Leon were just like the super giants yeah. weren't they yeah yeah French football. Janine, Michel yeah. Bastos yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no uh, when you put like that Benzema that's, I can see why and, I, and then for what 360 goals for Real or something yeah it's outrageous it's third all time Champions League goal scorer yeah ridiculous really yeah uh, the fact that he's, he's made all of our top 10 hasn't he yeah, he didn't make mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, although I, I accept he probably sh- he should be. Yeah, we've, we've all got one. But don't worry, you've got Wayne Rooney instead. So. We've all got one that should be in there. Yeah. yeah. Saturn is definitely Rooney. Apologies to Kareem. Oh, God, how Ro- no, Rooney's never made Sorry, my top Sergio. 10. I don't think Rooney would make my top 20. I think you're Mr. Wayne Rooney, a massive apology. I'd actually go as far as saying Wayne Rooney wouldn't make my top 20 for definite. Are you talking rubbish? All time strikes. Well. Maybe not even top 20. You're just 30. being silly. You thought you I'm not. Being silly. I'm just, I'm just being, being serious. Stop being silly. <laughs> uh, number four then. Louis Suarez. For me. Great. He's Underrated, great. I think. Um, and that, the one thing I will shout to Sai for was reminding me that he should have been in there because I, I didn't have him in there initially. And then think he really was always. Very, very good. What, so you just substituted him in now? No, no, I did before I came. Oh, it was a late, late edition. Um, and he yeah, put number four. The goals, all, again, all sorts of goals. Carried Liverpool single-handedly to almost winning the title, almost. Yeah, him and um, Daniel Sturridge partnership. Yeah, just... exactly. Uh, and then in that um, Barca. Barca team, the, one of the best Amazing. front three we'll ever see. MSN. All of them scoring over 30 goals in a season or something daft like that, wouldn't it? It was just mad. See, I, I preferred as a front three over MSN. I was more of a uh, Pedro, uh, David Villa, and the Messi. Yeah. I, think I preferred. It was that. easier on the eye, I think. I Whereas just, the other three were just pure pa- goals. goals. <laughs> yeah, they were just powerhouses, aren't they? Yeah. I think when you look at the the, the three movement of Pedro to, and Villa and Messi was yeah ridiculous. So I, if as much as I love that for three, I'd always pick the other three over it. I don't know if you guys would agree on that. I, don't know. I could I can get on board with it. Neymar was so entertaining though. I know, I agree. He was in that team. But he I think was just yeah. he was playing at a different level, wasn't he? I do think those two front threes though, like a lot of it is down to the midfield as well that they had. Like that one oh, front yeah, three, like course. Neymar and stuff had Rakitic behind them, whereas like the other uh, David Villa and stuff, they had the, the, the greatest midfield three arguably yeah. at the time. So this uh, of all time, not, not 
at the time, ever. Of all time, yeah. That's what I said, of all time. Oh, okay. Okay. At the time. Oh, did I? I meant to say all time. Sorry. Oh, good. Sorry, I meant to say all time. That is my all Correction time. Correction for the tape. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, please don't come on yeah, tape yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something nice. The best midfield three ever, yeah. 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 I think we all, I think, yeah, I'll, I, I think we What's agree with that. Agreed on something? I know, I know. <laughs> it's surprising. Number four for me, I went for R9. Um, I wanted him, I wanted him higher, but I just, again, I know he's done a lot in the 2000s. But I'm impressed to see who's above it. Yeah. Oh my God, you've got we'll Ibrahimovic. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh, sudden realisation. No. We'll get onto that in a minute. No, you haven't. I have got Ibrahimovic. R9. Yeah, we'll get onto that in a minute. Oh, we still haven't got Tim yet. So R9, number four. And we've spoken about how great he was, but his best times were in the 90s. And this list was from 2000s onwards. And I still am appreciating what he did. Yeah. So the fact he's in fourth. Oh, dear. <laughs> the looks I'm getting just is the just... fact like, if you've got other people ahead of him yeah alright maybe you could argue it but Ibrahimovic but we'll get on to Ibra in a minute Who's, what's everyone else has we all done our number I haven't four? done my number four I was going to say what, what's your number four Samuel Leto solid I've, he was yeah at the time he was the best player in the world I think he won Barcelona in the Champions League against us not just in the final, the rounds before. I was going to say, Henrik Larsson probably won it for him in the in actual final. Yeah. <laughs> the difference he made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then to do it again at Inter, be in, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Not much it, to him, there's not much that you can say with these kind of goals. Like, yeah. There's not much you can say with some of these players that kind of, they just speak for themselves. It's proper gun when he just, as you say, just scored goals and you knew he wasn't going to miss once he did. Wait, has he not made your top 10? No, he hasn't. He That's... hasn't. I probably, I probably need to throw Samuel an apology as well. Yeah. Apology, Samuel. So. You're just apologising to everyone. Yeah. It's hard. There's a, a lot of good strikers in there, but um, no, I didn't. Rooney over Eto. <laughs> absolutely. A... I stand by that. Rooney over Eto. That's yeah, absolutely yeah. horrific. That reeks, that does. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's <laughs> horrific. Um, oh, okay. Number three. What's everyone got? Number three. Go I'll go in with Suarez. Again. He's kind of he's featured at everyone's like very high, hasn't he? Uh, what I was going to say is, well, him and Benzema were really close to mine. Obviously, they're similar sort of players, but a lot of the players I've got, like Eto, Inzaghi, all of them, they're proper number nines. But I think what we've seen in this modern era now, Benzema and Suarez have evolved the position. Yeah, it's more than just being a goal scorer. It's it's bringing others into play. It's yeah. to hold up play. It's to running past people. They do the dirty work, don't they? Exactly. You look at Benzema in like. When Ronaldo was in his prime, he was just doing everything to help Ronaldo be yep. better, all while getting his goals as well. And they know where everyone is, so they a lot of good strikers have to know where the net is, but Benzema and Suarez will know where everyone up front with them is, yeah. little flicks, um, through balls, that sort of thing, they know, they know exactly where they need to be. Yeah, um, yeah, top, top tier. Yeah, okay then, my number three. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has made my third best strike of all time, and before we jump onto me, this man mm. has played since 2000, has been playing every year since then. He's got 70% goal to games. Just think about that, f- since 2000. You look at, like, I saw a thing, an interview this week, made me realise how long Zlatan's been about. He played with Alanga's dad. <laughs> really? Alanga. <laughs> United. Like, Alanga did an interview saying his dad used to play with him. Like, this guy has been cutting it about now. And I know you said, what has he won? And he has won trophies. No, we can slander the trophies he's won. But he's been doing it now, longevity-wise. Seventy percent of games he scores. It's so ridiculous to do that for twenty years now. Yeah, he's, he's, I agree is with he that. Yeah, and he deserves credit for it. But he, he's he's just a complete striker. In he's my never opinion. been at the top of the game, really. But he, yeah, but he's no. been. No, but I think no he's been knocking teams. at the door mm. at that top no tier. No elite team and at their peak has ever gone. Go the only pe- the only people that did were Barca, and then they got him, and they didn't want him. It didn't they work went out, out the way, they it, forked yeah. out huge money on him, yeah. and then they were like, no, we're he's, all right. He's been brought in as a main man at a team who want to try and get to that level, and he's never carried them there. I don't know, he's, he's, he's been doing... He's, but I just think when you look at it, though, to, to be at that level, though, because he's been arguably, one, of, I'd say, probably the top five strikers in the world for potentially the last 20 years, been up there, in the, or even top 10. To do that, no, there's no one else on this list that's do, been doing that for that longevity. When you look at it, maybe Benzema's been doing it for a while, but yeah. longevity. And he's st- is he 38 now? Yeah. And he's yeah, still probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. And he's he's doing the things he's Obviously still won doing. the league with AC Milan this yeah, he's year. Just done, in fairness he's, to him, he's just won the league. He's still 
getting the numbers that he was before. Seventy percent that number. He's got just, a great career, great accolades, great goal scoring record. I just think when you're talking about the greatest of all time, I don't think he's ever been in that upper echelon of players. Yeah. I get, I get what you're saying. I just, it's a, <laughs> that's a great yeah. word. That's a great word. I'm just thinking longevity as well. That as a career. I think he's completely yeah, under- amazing career. underrated yeah, amazing career, career, personally. Yeah, and quality of opposition that he scored goals against, again, do yeah. him down for PSG me. PSG before like the money was in the French League, Yeah, really. And look at the standards of Serie A when he was scoring goals for Milan and Inter and those sort of people. Oh, we can slander him all you want, but he's my mind number three. Yeah. I, think, I think he's completely underrated in his career. I don't think he'll ever... I think I'm giving him a voice here. I'm giving a voice to Zlatan. <laughs> giving him a shout because he deserves to be rubbing shoulders with the greats because I think he is one of the greatest. Uh, he certainly thinks he would as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he definitely thinks he's the greatest. He's so I don't know why I'm helping yeah. him. Like, <laughs> that's the only thing. I just can't deal with his attitude and his confidence. Yeah. I wish I had a bit of that confidence, to be fair. <laughs> It'd be quite, who's, what's everyone else got then? Uh, we all done mine. My number three is Rude Van Nistelrooy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've seen this written down and Sorry. I don't know how to feel about Sorry. it. But so number three is outrageous. Can I just say, no one else has got Rude Van Nistelrooy in their top nope. ten. And, and you've slotted him in at number three? Number three. All time. Wow. Well, since 2000. But you're... But you're... So, so but it wasn't... Well, number three. I'm trying three. to explain this now. <laughs> yeah, Between you got to explain it. 2003... Well, even at Fine or before then. 2003... To maybe 2006, seven when he went to Madrid, he did not miss. He didn't miss, and he was just frightening to see play. United hated playing against. Sorry, also hated playing against him in that that um, Invincibles era, and he was just oh, so so good at finishing and scoring goals in, in big games for United. Um, again, like Harry Kane, he's in there on goal scoring merit, not because he's really gone on and dragged. Great teams are great things, but in terms of goal scoring, he's in my top three. I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. No. I just cannot believe. I think it's <laughs> number three as a greatest. If strikers. he was Premier League, mm. he'd be in my ten all day. I don't know. I just think you look at the names in these lists, and I don't think you can lace the boots of a lot of them. Mm. I get what you're saying. Like, he, he, <laughs> he's a great striker, as you've said, but. He was an honourable mention for me. Like he just missed out, but he'd be like a number ten. I could, fair play to put him in with number number three. That's a <laughs> that's a bold shout. I like I like bold, it. Uh, for me, I think he was in my top three. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I can't really Bagsman. argue with you. No, he's a. It's it's clinical again, isn't it? It's what you said before about got actual goals, and it's what you want from a striker, goals, really. Because yeah. the fundamental of a striker, I think, is what you can look at the actual like the definition of a striker is to score yeah. obviously we all want that from our strikers exactly I don't know. maybe something exactly for, for just I don't say it's, it's not because he's been in the, the great teams uh, and, and, and dragged them to trophies in, in the big game but the, just the amount of goals and the types of goals he scored he was just frightening as a number four, as a number nine yeah it's just mental to think though when you've put where you've put him yeah, though, and you're looking at, you're looking at the players it's that are running around. It I, is think you, I think you look at him alongside like an Inzaghi, a Shevchenko, a Crespo, that sort of player. Do you mind doing me one favour now? Do you mind just just quickly mentioning the players that you've put in above? Just a couple, <laughs> if you don't mind, just so I can just put it into just to make sure that like <laughs> just to make sure you really believe it. Uh, Suarez, Wayne Rooney, Aguero, Drogba, Harry Kane, David Villa, Michael Owen. David Villa and Rooney. Rooney maybe should be above him in my view. Now Aguero him so high. You had Aguero. Did you show I'd have him above Aguero. <sighs> I don't know. I'd have Rui Van Nistelrooy over Sergio Aguero. Oh, that's a bold one again. I'm not sure. Is, that... is, this, is it nostalgia glasses? I may, may I well think be. It, I think it is a bit. May well be. That's when like for, when we were first growing it, up. An amazing finisher, but. If you were to watch ninety minutes of Rude Van Nistelrooy now, and like multiple games over a season, and you're saying ahead of Rooney, ahead <laughs> maybe, of Aguero, maybe ahead it's of David Villa. rose tinted glasses. Who knows? But, um, no, I like it. I, from... I like a rogue shout because you make me look less <laughs> less mental. So it oh, helps me. Yeah. <laughs> eight year old me loved him, <laughs> and that's why he's in my top. He's eight year old Joe. This is his list. <laughs> okay, then. Um, I've completely thrown off from that. I don't know why. That's <laughs> got, that sent me a completely yeah. different way than we expected. What's? Uh, do you want to go next, Mark? <laughs> number two. What's everyone's number two? Uh, me and Joe have got the same, I think, and it's Ronaldo. Yeah. Oh, nine. Absolutely. The Ronaldo. Wait, I think we might all have the exact same number one. I think so. And so it should be. Well, Absolutely. My, sorry, can I say my number two then? I just thought yeah, before we yeah. get into that. So my number two was Suarez. Okay. 
I originally had Suarez at number one and then realised um, about lunchtime today that I hadn't got him even in my top 10 and then realised how on earth had I forgotten him because my manager mentioned it to me so shout out to him because I would have <laughs> completely forgotten his name just because I don't know why I didn't think of him first yeah. I don't know what it is should we all just who wants to say the number one then the fact that I think the Arsenal fan probably can do you want to say it it's the king <laughs> <laughs> Zizou Zizou it's, where's I can't believe so, where's I is that him sorry wait was your fifth Size list. I reckon if you asked a hundred people this question, like Henri would be ninety-five percent of people's number one. He was fifth. Yeah. So I had him fifth and I had Benzema, Lewandowski, Aguero, and Suarez all above him. That's disgraceful. But no, where do, who want take the floor with Henri? I like, think you just summed up in three words. Vavavum. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to do that little thing he does. I, yeah. I was looking at the camera, camera then. Like, just he's uh, really uncomfortable. Majestic. Then. Think of all the superlatives that you could describe as yeah. a footballer. He was just elegant, and, but at the same time deadly. And just God, just such a good footballer. He was, he was unplayable. Yeah. On his day, there was nothing you could do. And you've heard defenders like Carragher and Ferdinand say, like, but they looked across it at him in the dressing in the tunnel, and they just knew, like. Be you're, in for, you're in for hell. Yeah, and he could cut, and he would carry. How well, tall? How tall was he? What six foot three, maybe something yeah. like that. And he could do. I mean, he was, he was quick. He could do everything. He was quick. He had the ball with the ball at his feet. He could be. He's probably him. again in these lists. Obviously, all his finishing, his goal scoring, amazing. He's probably one of the best passers in bar Rooney, maybe. But yeah, Henri's assists and his link up play and the way yeah, he's really... creating chances for others. Yeah, yeah, second to none. He yeah. was two or three seconds ahead of everyone. Yeah, he was probably the first like striker that re- we spoke about Benzema and Suarez. He was the fun- one that probably paved the way for those players, like dropping off deep, going into wide areas, yeah. relieving pressure off his team. Definitely. I, I don't. Yeah, you've summed him up perfectly, really. Yeah. Just a, a great, isn't it? God bless Thierry Henry. I love that man as well. What a boy. I know. He's he's great pundit as well. He's brilliant, isn't he's just, he? I'm just mesmerised by him. Like, just everything yeah, he does. He's, he's just, just Hollywood, yeah, he's great. Yeah. Box but office. I want to see I've him in said His voice is so not. I just love him to read me bedtime stories. <laughs> <laughs> just be so yeah. calm. And you see, your, fan, your fantasies are slowly coming out on this podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a soft French, French accent. <laughs> but no, he's one of the greats. And the fact that, so you've put him in fifth. It's I think the fact, that, the fact that all three of us agree, which is mental anyway. Can everyone comment? Just like, sigh out. Hashtag, yeah, sigh out or, or sigh off the pod. <laughs> what, what was it? Uh, somebody else came up with this, not us, uh, Graham Sinus, and I absolutely love that. Graham Sinus, because I said of his controversial, awful takes, and I'm all for it. <laughs> and Sai hates it, so hopefully I can get that going. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, I think that sums it up. Oh, yeah. oh, I love these debates. You can't beat them, can you? You can't, mate. I must have changed my top 10 about 20 times today. It's been tough getting in the right order. Definitely. Yeah. Is there any honourable mentions you want to throw in there, by uh, the way? Yes. This is the bit I've been looking forward to. Just real, just real through him, yeah. Alan Shearer, even though his best years were in the early 90s. Uh, Raul, Filippo Inzaghi, Miroslav Closer, Closer World Cup yeah. Bagsman, uh, yeah, Luca I- Toni, iconic celebration, and Bagsman, um, Fernando Torres at Liverpool, and then the 2010 Diego Melito. That's one season. Oh, what a yeah. shout. Nowhere near like one of the best yeah, yeah, ever no, in a that great time, shout. post 2000. But that year, he was some striker, yeah. wasn't he? That's a great I shout. thought about Milita. I was like, was he actually that good or was it just the Champions League that one year? Maybe. When he, he bagged in the league. Oh, he yeah. oh, in, in, yeah. I did a bit of research. Well, trebled, he, that's why he didn't make my top 10 because I instantly went, he was great. And then I looked and did a bit of research. It's not as mesmerising as you think. One season. Yeah. That's um, nostal- nostalgia when you look at it back. Was. It's nowhere near as good as you thought. Like, that season was, but I'm on about his career as a whole. Yeah. Um, Tevez, I think, deserves just about a shout. Very good career. I can give you some aside as well. I think, I think one we've all met, as an honourable mention, he was never getting into the top 10, but Van Persie. Yeah. Mm. Great goal scorer. I said that's a good shout. And probably got believe. better and better with age. Yeah. Like he was. Clinical at United. Serious player. Yeah, yeah. Serious player. And for Holland in the end as well, wasn't yeah. it? Do you know what really surprised me? When I did a bit of research, I was reading through different articles and kind of getting other opinions, kind of stacking everything together. About four different news articles and sites. It says that Edin Dzeko was like in the top 15. Would you have put him that high no. by? In the Premier League, yes. Not. This was world what all not world strikers. Wide. No, no. He no. was put at number fi- number fifteen. Very okay. underrated. Well, he's got. I mean, he bagged at Wolfsburg, didn't he? Yeah, I, d- I didn't realize. Lots of goals. Much, I didn't realize he got as many goals as he yeah. did at yeah, Wolfsburg. Yeah. But 
I'm glad it wasn't just me who was shot by that. Like yeah. 15. I think it was like the Guardian had put him 15 really? all time striker. <laughs> I think in the Premier League, yeah, but probably been top 20 Premier League strikers for yeah. me. Okay, then I'll give you size mentions. He's got Totti, not a striker. striker. Yeah, we that conversation. Tevez, yeah. Huntelaar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Because he scored 15 goals at Schalke. <sighs> Size. So he's just he's saying that he loves FIFA. He loves retro FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> That's nostalgia, definitely. And then he said Lukaku. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, these are the ones now where it shot me. Mbappe and Haaland. Don't deserve to be. Not yet. They've, they've only been playing like three years. Three or four years. Yeah, right? Mbappe At more so than Haaland. Haaland's literally Mbappe played Mbappe one I can season. understand having an honourable mention because he is literally... Yeah, Haaland has played one season in a proper league. league. Yeah. Like one full season in a proper league. And, and even that's... We don't know if that's a proper league. Yet, <laughs> no, it's not a proper league, is it? Let's be honest. Mm. And then Drogbo. I reckon... Drogbo. <laughs> Drogbo. Eto. I read the two then just merged the two. <laughs> I reckon the top six in the championship would be like mid-table Bundesliga. I agree. I think West Brom will make top 10 in Bundesliga as well as top 10 in the oh, Champions League. Not sure about that. Not down to oh, 10. Can points. we, now we've got a chance to say what I believe. I'm actually quite excited for next season. Have you seen who you've been linked with today? Don't get me started because I'm getting excited anyway. That'd be a very good sign, yeah. Which, who, who have you read about? Hamza Chowdhury. Oh, no, no. It's mm. looking all but done. It's, it's where the Leicester put a spanner in the works and say you've got a, an obligation to buy at the end isn't that's it? what we want which I, read, yeah. I think we wanted that oh, yeah. well, if, depending on promotion yeah which, of course if you do get up I think you'd be a very good sign on promotion. I think you, you don't want that do you I, I, an <laughs> obligation to buy like if you need to buy them in the championship and you try yeah. to balance the books if I'm honest I think promotion's on oh, oh here we go that's early optimism <laughs> yeah I mean it did you not learn your lesson <laughs> from last signed, season if you only signed John Swift yeah. yeah. So what's changed to get you promoted? Well, we've got rid of Johnston. We've got rid of Johnston, and I'm Palace, glad to they? see the back of him. Now you've got butted in goal full time. Yep. He's twice the keeper Johnston ever will be. Johnston is a fraud. <laughs> Johnston was embarrassing last year. Johnston was awful. He was I, know poor. You, I know you don't like him. He was poor. But he's a lot better than David Button, isn't he? Let's, let's be real. I know many keepers better than Johnston. There was, he's probably David Button is not one. <laughs> he's probably not, but he'll he'll play for the badge. <laughs> no, um, so yeah, we signed John Swift, and then we've got looking. There's rumours and things suggesting a couple of free agents coming in. That's Le- what you uh, need. Lenehan uh, from Blackburn, defender. Yeah. Um, Jed Wallace would be a great sign. That would have been all right five the, years ago. I don't know. You, see, you look at. Free agent. You can't afford him. Well, he's on holiday at the moment, so I hope <laughs> when he comes back, please sign. <laughs> but I'm feeling quite optimistic. I think the standard of the championship this year is dreadful. It's going to be. A, it should be one of the poorest it's been in years. It was poor last imagine. season, and I don't think it's got much better. Yeah. And can I also just ask Norwich me, should run away with How's Daniel yeah. Farker got the job that he's got? Have you oh, seen that? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Munching Gladbach. How has Daniel Farker done that? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's like the chap um, at Huddersfield who got the yeah. job oh, after Va- Wagner. Yeah. Yeah. God. He sent them down, didn't he? Or near, yeah, near yeah. enough. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, he probably did. I he think probably he sent did. Down, yeah. did send he, got, he got sacked before. Did he? Well, he got he sacked. Did he did all the Yeah, he did all the Because he was playing 4-4-2 with John Joe Kenny. Because wow. he had him on loan there. Because I remember looking yeah, at the seat, yeah. team thinking, what on earth is yeah. going on? Cutting him out with his 4 4 2. But yeah, the championship will be shoot well. You imagine it'll be poor. But great to see Sunderland back. Yes. Uh, great to see them coming back up. Shout out the Black Cats. Yeah. Big, big club. They need a lot of change, though, with that squad. That squad will get relegated straight away. I they don't need know. I think they've got some good championship level players. Well, Roberts is a loan, isn't it? I think. Well, Wasn't I he, on, he was on loan from City. I've been impressed with. The, I don't know what he's. Is it Clark? The like the tall, yeah. lanky winger. So he's I'll on loan from. Game. He's on loan from Leeds, I think. Is that Jack? Quite like Jack Clark. Jack isn't Clark, it? yeah. Who's Jack Clark? Oh no, he's or Tottenham. Or sorry, he's top, was he Tottenham? Yeah, he went yeah. to Tottenham. Yeah, he was on loan. That's right, what I mean. One that, signing for them. It wasn't yeah, so terrible. I, yeah, I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, West Brom are getting promoted. Okay. I think we should probably I think end we should it on clip that. that up and come back to that. I'll happily leave that in. Come what may. I can't wait. Because. Most of my clips that we've looked back at, my Ben White statement, which got absolutely slaughtered. My first viral clip that was. What and was who's that? Who's laughing? Oh, the day uh, Maguire signed. Uh, uh, no, sorry. The day Ben White signed, I said Ben White would be twice the player Varane and Maguire would be. Fair play. And it got a lot of stick. And I, if I'm honest, I didn't really believe it. I was just saying it for clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> who's the winner now? <laughs> 
But no, uh, cheers, lads. I think that's everything. Pleasure as always. Yeah, and uh, let us know, guys, in the comment section below what debate you want us to do next week. Check out these guys' socials if you want to give them stick. They'll be in the uh, description. Give size as always. Stick for give size size terrible, terrible, terrible taste. Yeah, I'll leave size socials definitely at the top. So uh, enjoy that. And uh, leave us a review. We're still five star. Get in. Still, and it was going to stay like five that. Five star only. Or yeah, exactly. Five star <laughs> only. Nothing below five. Five or nothing. Because the, the thing is, they won't be listening this far. If they're not going to give us five stars, you wouldn't have listened to this rubbish for this long, surely. <laughs> but no, keep reviewing. Keep smashing the like button and subscribing. And uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bookhead Sam, over and out, baby.